Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm here again with another pick a card reading. So today's reading is what does this person really want you to know? They really wish that you knew this, but for whatever reason, they feel as though they cannot tell you. Maybe they're afraid to tell you their emotions. Maybe they're afraid to open up. So what do they really want you to know? So we have three sets of cards. Set of cards number one is the yellow stone. Set of cards number two is the clear stone. And set of cards number three is the red stone. So take some time to tune into the energies of the cards or the faces on the cards or the crystals. Don't rush. Really get a feel for the energies to see which resonates with you the most. You could take a deep breath. And you can pause the video right now. I'll leave a few moments as well. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen yellow crystal and this guy here. So this is what your person really wants you to know. This could be their higher self speaking to you. You know, take whatever resonates. What do they really want you to know at this time? I know that you cannot wait around for me forever. I'm getting really frustrated waiting as well. I just want us to align. I just want things to work out. I feel as though we are meant to be together. I feel that we are one. I feel that you are my soulmate. But there's been so much complications that have led to this separation. So much fear. So much illusions. It's incredibly frustrating. And I've constantly waiting for things to happen. I know you've been waiting for me to take action, but it's not as simple as that. A lot of this is to do with energetic alignment or misalignment, as the case may be. There's certain things that we're supposed to learn on our journey within our soul contract, within our soul agreement that we have with, with each other. Our souls are wanting to heal, wanting to grow. We often heal through intense love, but if through intense loss and intense pain as well. Everything that's been happening between us is happening for a reason. But I'm feeling very frustrated. I wish I could just be with you right now, be by your side. I know that you can't wait around for me forever. I understand that you're going your separate way or you need to keep living your life. I understand that. I'm sorry that things aren't different at this current time. I know that you've had to walk away. I know that I've had to walk in a different direction as well, but I don't want it to be fully over between us. I want us to still be together. I hope that we get a second chance. I wanted to just skip past the karma, skip past the other things that we needed to heal, but we can't do that. We agreed to heal our souls in such a profound way um, that we couldn't become too dependent upon each other. We would have times of coming together, then going our separate ways, but I'm very much still holding on to our connection. I'm hoping when the time is right, we will be able to come together, that we will have healed enough, We have that we will have learned enough of the lessons, gone through enough of the karma in our lives, learned to love ourselves enough in order for us to be together in the future. But I know that we cannot wait around for that. I know we cannot put our lives, our lives on hold for that because that just prevents us from healing, it prevents us from learning the lessons because we get stuck stagnating and going in circles and putting our healing on hold. 
I know it's been been because we've been afraid of losing each other, but I feel that you are the one. I feel that we're always connected in the higher dimensions and we're always thinking about each other. We always feel this telepathic bond, this oneness. And I feel like separation is an illusion. I feel as though we can't ever truly lose each other or be re rejected by the other because I feel we are twin flames. I feel we are one and therefore the bond is unbreakable. It's just sometimes we incarnate in different lifetimes where we agree to learn different lessons with different people or, or on different paths, but we always seem to come back together again. But I feel a lot of sadness. I feel sadness for what we've lost, but I still hold out hope that we can be together in the future. I, I'm sorry for all the pain that's happened. I'm sorry for the tower moments, the things that had to fall away, the painful experiences. But I do believe in my heart that those things happened because there was some, some unhealthy attachments that we had to each other that we needed to let go of before we could be in the right vibration. We needed this time away from each other to learn profound self-love, healthy boundaries, and all those things that we may not have realized we needed in the past and we will just become a bit too dependent upon each other but I'm still hopeful that there will be a future for us. I've really tried hard to manifest our reunion. I've really tried to make it work. I've tried to appear strong. I've tried to impress you. I realize now that in doing so, I wasn't really being true to myself. I was wearing masks. <clears throat> At times I believed that you were the one that was going to manifest our reunion. Um, but it really makes me feel sad that I feel like we both want this reunion so much and yet at the same time, it, it's not the right time. I know how maddening that is to realise that, but in order to have inner peace, we have to let go of attachment. I'm starting to learn that now. But I have tried to manifest things and it feels like it's in vain or I, I feel as though, I don't know, if the manifestation is happening. But I know in our hearts, I know in my heart and my intuition that it's not over between us. It will never be over. The connection is infinite. It's unfinished business. I wasn't able to receive the love that you were giving me in the past. There was imbalances. I know you were wanting my love and approval and you were looking for that outside of yourself because you didn't know your own worth. And I didn't know how to take the love that you were giving me because I didn't know that I was good enough to receive that. I felt like you would reject me if I came out from hiding and accepted the love that you were giving and then gave myself back to you. I had a lot of fears. I feel like I missed an opportunity. I'm regretting that now. I do really hope that we can both heal enough to be ready and have a healthy relationship with each other. I'm really hoping that the universe um, can grant us that reunion really soon. I'm really hoping we can align really soon through having that deep healing that we need within ourselves as individuals. I know you've been waiting for me and I've been waiting as well. I know it appears that I just needed to come forward and take things further and fully commit and be fully available, but I feel we both have needed this healing. I'm sorry that I've kept you waiting, but I've always been waiting as well. 
I haven't really fully known how to heal myself or what healing work I was doing. I wasn't sure if it was working. I haven't fully known how to give up attachment, the attachment that I feel for you. I feel like it was our attachment, the need for each other, the codependency that's actually blocked us from being able to be with each other. I've been waiting. I keep looking for guidance and answers from spirit. I, I look for consolation. I keep receiving signs and synchronicities that from spirit that show me that I, I'm on the right path, that we are on the right path. I'm hoping and praying as I wait for the right time for things to unfold between us. I've felt very lonely, I felt very sad at times and spirit has always come through. with help, assistance. Sometimes I get too attached to looking for outside proof that things are going to work out because I forget to trust in my heart. I know part of this lessons we are learning individually is to trust in our own intuition. You are my sweetheart. I want to reach out to you. I want to write you love notes, express my feelings to you. I love that we feel this connection from afar, even though we want to be by each other's sides. There is distance between us. And my comfort is when we communicate, either through written words or telepathically, I feel so much consolation, I feel so much happiness when we are in communication. You make me feel uplifted in my life, you make me feel happy. Um, I feel like I can escape from the problems of my life when I think of you or when I talk to you. I know that you're waiting for me to reach out and express everything to you. And I want that as well. Please stay hopeful. I've been overthinking things, coming into doubt, coming into frustration, feeling so much pain because I long to be with you so much. I, I lost hope. I became very disheartened. And therefore I wanted to turn away from the pain. That is why I walked away. I stopped waiting for a time. But now I want to return. I'm starting to see light at the end of the tunnel. I'm starting to have hope. I'm starting to trust in my intu intuition. Because without you, I feel like I'm this widower. Without you, I feel alone. Without you, I feel like I've lost a part of my own soul. I know we've had to go through that karmic, painful experience where we felt as though we lost each other entirely. But I know it was because we had to let go of the unhealthy dynamic that we had between us. We had to let go of attachment. We had to face our biggest fears of abandonment and rejection in order to fully heal those fears because in the past we were tr trying to avoid them so much. I'm finishing old cycles. I know I need to say goodbye to certain people and certain things that aren't serving me. It's a difficult process. It's totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm finishing these old cycles. I'm letting go of the things that are no longer serving me. I'm making room for me to embrace my true self and for things to unfold between us. I'm doing it for us. I'm doing this healing, this releasing, this purging issues in the past that extremely triggered you on a soul level. I did it to help you heal and to help myself heal as well. 
I've never ever done anything because I don't love you. I've always loved you. I always will. My heart is broken at the thought of hurting you. My heart is broken that I'm not by your side right now. My heart is broken with, with, with what's going on in the world right now and the things that are falling away. But I do have hope that it is all for a good reason. So healing can occur so we can rebuild in a much brighter, truthful, happier way. I know I screwed up and I'm really, really sorry about that. This is why I'm feeling all this heartbreak and loss and regrets. I feel so guilty. I hope that you can forgive me. It's so painful for me to feel as though I hurt the one person that I love the most and that I can't take that back. Let's make it happen. Let's have a fresh start. Let's come into union. Let's continue working on our connection, on our healing, on our oneness. I love you, I always have, and I always will. So I hope this message has really resonated. And if it has, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please check out my really powerful meditation, which is called I Am Loved, I Receive Love. And that's all about healing, abandonment and rejection wounds. I really help you to look at past experiences where you felt really hurt by someone. I help you to examine like the negative or limiting stories that you may have attached to those experiences that were very self-blaming or the illusion that someone rejected you because you're not good enough. And then I, I really help you to rewrite that story through unconditional love. Um, I help you to see yourself through the eyes of your soul family that has always known that you're lovable and good enough and always knows that you will always be good enough. And that can be such a healing transformation for you. It can really bring you into a place of deep inner peace and really knowing your worth. So then that can help you in the long run to attract the right person for you. Um, the person that is also has a healthy relationship with themselves, is available for a, a relationship and a commitment and isn't afraid to express their feelings to you. So that can potentially help heal this connection if that is part of your soul contract with this person, or it can help you um, attract the person who is truly destined for you, you know, if it happens to be someone else. So that is called I Am Loved, I Receive Love. All the details for that are below this video in the description box, so please check that out. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. So welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the clear crystal and this guy here. So this is what your person really wants you to know. It can be like their higher self speaking to you as well. You know, whatever resonates. I'm really sorry that I haven't been able to fully be here for you. Throughout my life, I've not felt good enough. I've had difficulties with self-sabotage. Like, I've shut myself off from love. I haven't felt good enough. I haven't felt worthy of love. I, I can't understand, in a way, why you would be interested in me. I feel this deep magnet magnetic pull to you but I don't understand it and so I've resisted and it's caused me a lot of pain and I know it's caused you a lot of pain I know you felt as though I stabbed you in the back because I didn't commit to you I didn't come forward I didn't allow myself to be available to you I really really hope that you are healing from this pain that I caused you. I really hope that you 
are feeling stronger now and you can stand back back up again and feel much more happier and optimistic in your life i know it appears that i haven't loved you enough but i just didn't feel good enough i felt like you deserved so much more than what i could offer you i in a way i was trying to be cool to be kind sacrifice myself i know this is part of the soul contract as well where this pain was meant to help you to release your attachment of me and help you realize that you do deserve better than what i was able to give you at that time and it's helping me to have this alone time because i need to focus on my own healing. I know you always wanted to be here for me. I know you always wanted to just love me and help me, but I've not known how to accept that help. I know that I was afraid of becoming too attached to you. So I hid my feelings from you in the past. I tried to run away from this magnetic pull because I didn't know what was happening to me. I felt out of control. I realize now that it was pulling me into my healing. I'm seeing things much more clearly now that I have time and space to see things. I do have regrets, but at the same time, I do know in my soul that we need this time to heal ourselves so that we're in a place of much deeper harmony and self love so that if we are meant to come back together in the future, we will have a much better chance of things being harmonious and healthy because we found that healthy place within ourselves. So I have regrets about hurting you. It's really hurt me as well. I wish I could turn back time. I wish I felt the strength to be able to express how I truly feel about you, how much I love you, but there's just some subconscious fear within me that's so powerful that if I do that, if I open up to you and be vulnerable, then you're going to have some kind of power over me. I'm, I'm very afraid of being hurt and looking like a fool. I've experienced that in the past where I felt completely humiliated because I gave someone my heart and I felt severely rejected. So now I have fears of giving away my power through being vulnerable and expressing my heart because people in the past took advantage of me for that. People took me for granted the more I showed them love and so you mean so much to me that my biggest fear would be that you would grow bored of me, that you would take me for granted. And so I guess deep down I felt as though if I remained unavailable, then maybe you would keep pursuing me and I would always know that you were still pursuing me, that you weren't getting bored, you weren't taking me for granted. I was afraid to give you the chance to take me for granted, but I regret that now because I've really hurt you. And rightly so, you had to put up healthy boundaries. And I'm seeing what I was doing more clearly now. I realized subconsciously why I was holding back. I've just got so much drama going on in my life. I feel as though everything's going wrong. I don't consciously realize that my outside reality has a lot to do with what's going on inside of me. I don't realize that when I have low self-esteem or I think negative thoughts, then a lot of that is manifesting more into my life and so I felt as though a lot of things have been going wrong in my life that's also why I've been afraid to be with you because I have seen so many things fall apart for me and I don't want things to fall apart and go wrong with you but ironically when I've held back I see how that has made you need to 
love yourself more and walk away and give give me this space because you do deserve more than what I was able to give you. There's so much karma going on in my life. I don't want to drag you into that. I've had struggles knowing how to heal myself, how to get out of this negative thinking, get out of this pessimism. But I am starting to see things more clearly. I do feel this soul calling, spirit is calling to me to awaken, to rise up to have a new beginning and it is happening. I'm going through a major awakening. I am seeing a lot of things that seemed so real and so relevant in the past are irrelevant. They were illusions. They didn't hold as much meaning as I, real as I once thought in the past. I realize now what brings me true meaning, but I'm still afraid of it. The universe is pulling me forward into loving myself, but it's bringing up all the things I need to release, all the pain that goes along with that, and it's so overwhelming. I don't know how to handle that. It doesn't make sense to me. No one around me would ever understand that, and so I've been trying to run away from that. I've been trying to hold on to the past, even though the past is not good for me. I don't feel happy in my current circumstances, but this is the energy I've been brought up in my whole life. And so I, I've been conditioned to see the world through those eyes. It's hard to see differently. I feel like I'm being judged. I'm afraid of being judged by the universe. And so I've tried to turn my back on, on this soul calling. It feels way out of my comfort zone. I've tried to deny spirituality. I've tried to deny and not commit to this healing path because I don't fully understand that it is about my healing. I feel like things are falling apart, but my human self doesn't realize that things are falling apart because those are the things that don't serve me. And so they're falling away to make room for me to feel peace, for me to embrace my true self, embrace my self love. I don't currently realize that I deserve that peace and that self-love and all the good things that will manifest from that. And so I'm still struggling, still on that karmic wheel, going in circles. But I am becoming strong. Thank you so much for all the support that you've given me. You have helped me to realize a lot of things, but I have to heal for the most part for myself. I have to do it for myself. Um, you have given me more courage than what I had in the past. But now I need this time on my own to really go through this sense of major loss, to go through this sense of major abandonment, rejection. I'm feeling as though I've lost an opportunity. This is what I have needed in order to wake up, in order to realize that I need to create this strength within myself. I need to be much more optimistic in my life in general and in my opinion of myself. I know I've hurt you. I know I've appeared to be the enemy you do deserve so much more than that. You deserve peace within your mind, within your heart, within your life. You deserve someone that's truly going to be there for you. So I really hope that you've learned these lessons from me as well. 
I, my subconscious feels that this soul calling, this magnetic pull is like the enemy, is dangerous, is a threat. I don't know how to trust. I'm out of touch with my intuition. So I'm very much about logic and this doesn't logically make sense to me. And so it feels as though it's a trick or a temptation. It feels as though the universe is trying to trip me up or pull the rug from beneath my feet if I was to surrender to this love, surrender to this connection and truly open my heart. I feel as though that would make me into a child. I would be crying. I would be emotional. I would, a part of me would feel weak. A part of me is afraid that if I became childlike in that way, then you would reject me like I feel like my own mother rejected me, my own family, and I cannot go through that pain again. And so I try to be strong. I try to appear strong. I withhold my feelings. I bottle it all up. I suck it up and just carry on. This connection came as a complete surprise to me. I wasn't expecting it. It floored me. It took me off guard. I, I didn't understand why this gift of you, of our love, was being given to me. I felt totally out of my depth. I felt like I'd been thrown in the deep end and didn't know how to swim. And so... I drowned in this fear. I am starting to see that it is a gift. Like deep down I know it is a gift. But I still don't know how to get past the blocks. I don't know how to scale the mountain to get to the top, to ascend the path is scary, the path is unknown, I can't see things clearly. I do want to be the best version of myself for you. You made me feel like the Lord, like the King. You made me feel like a million dollars. But I had doubts. I felt like you were just in love with a projection that you'd placed upon me. You'd projected some kind of fantasy onto me. And I was afraid that, and I was convinced that I would just disappoint you. The real me would disappoint you. And you'd be angry at me and you'd be upset and you'd abandon me. I have bitterness in my heart because people have not appreciated the real me in the past. I'm not the easiest person to live with. I have issues, I struggle with them every day and I do try my best but it's hard. I felt such betrayal in my life and I guess that's manifested over and over again with supposed friends and partners and I became very cynical and didn't know how to trust in love anymore and so I pushed you away I was just con convinced that you would be like all the others and you'd end up getting annoyed at me and wanting me to change and resenting me and falling out of love with me I know I left you in this place of sadness I do feel sad deep in my heart, even though I find it hard to show that. I have a lot of pride. I'm sorry that I left you feeling sad and alone and left out in the cold. But you'll bounce back. I know that you will meet someone who 
truly deserves you and is in the right place to give you what you truly deserve. You're a young woman, you're very beautiful, you could have anyone that you wanted. I've put you on a pedestal, you're too good for me, you're out of my league, you're this beautiful young lady who can express yourself openly and is full of hope and dreams and I just feel as though I'm this closed off pessimistic person that could drag you down you don't deserve that you deserve so much more than that let's cuddle I do miss the physical affection that we shared I am sad about what happened I wish I could comfort you and make you feel better. But I feel right now our paths are going in different directions because there's someone out there for you that can truly give you what you deserve. I need you. I'm holding back my emotions. I do think about us holding each other, I think about us making love. I know that I do need you, but my human self just has so much pride and ego at this time. And it's not fair for you to be waiting for me. You need to keep living your life. You need to allow the doors of opportunity to remain open for you, otherwise you'll get stuck in sadness, you'll get stuck in stagnation. You need to keep living your life because I need to continue building my foundation. I need to continue learning how to love myself and be happy within myself because I don't have a healthy relationship within, so I cannot have a healthy relationship with you. I would keep hurting you, and I don't want to do that. I express myself differently to you. I don't know how to say the words. I know you've been waiting for me to show you love through me telling you how I feel, but that's extremely difficult for me. I have tried to show you how I love you in other ways, but I feel like sometimes you haven't fully recognized that. I'm here for you. I wanna be the good friend for you that you have always been for me. Despite what's happened, I do have regrets and my heart respects you even if my human self is overcome by fears and causes me to disrespect you. I'm here for you. I'm always thinking of you. I want the best for you. I love you. So I really hope this reading has resonated. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please check out my meditation, which is called I Am Loved, I Receive Love. So that is a really powerful meditation that helps you to heal any past experiences or it can help you heal any experiences within this connection where you felt abandoned and rejected. I help you to connect with your soul family and see yourself through their eyes, which is complete unconditional love. I help you to look back at those past experiences. Often we can subconsciously create a negative storyline based on painful experiences where we blame ourselves and think things have happened or people have rejected us because we're not good enough kind of thing. So I really help you to rewrite those stories in a more truthful kind of way um, where you know your worth and you know things didn't happen as because it was personal. 
you will understand that things happen because it was just part of your soul contract and, you know, you deserved more than what you were settling for in the past. So this meditation can potentially help you to heal yourself to such a great degree that you, you feel complete inner peace and you don't blame yourself anymore. You know that you deserve the best and that can really help you to manifest the person that is truly right for you, your, your true soulmate, someone that is totally available and ready to be in a commitment just as much as you want that as well. So that is called I Am Loved, I Receive Love. And all the details for that are below this video in the description box. So please check that out. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. This is set of cards number three and you've chosen the red crystal and this guy here. So this is what they really want you to know. I know that we are soulmates. I feel such love in my heart when I think of you. I know that we've been connected for all of time, for all of eternity. I feel our connection goes way beyond this lifetime. I feel the oneness that we always share. It's such pure love. It's unconditional love. It's very hard to hold this purity in day-to-day -day life on this earth plane because we go through so much conditioning, so much illusions, the ego identity. I want this reconciliation with you. I love you so much. I want there to be a balance of give and take. I want to reach out and give you my heart, give you the flowers. You are as beautiful as these flowers. I feel my true nature when I look into your eyes. You've given me so much hope in my life. You uplift me when I think of you. I'm going through a lot of difficulties, a lot of intense anxiety and stress. But when I think of you, I feel like I'm on cloud nine again. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful that I met you and that you're here for me and that we always have this infinite connection in the higher realms, on the other dimensions. I'm sorry that I feel stuck. I have gone through, like everyone else, lots of illusions in this lifetime. I can't see myself clearly. I cannot see the truth of life clearly. My judgment has been clouded. I feel stuck because there's still more karma that I need to go through. There's still more lessons on this path that are slowly but surely gonna open my eyes in so many ways to my true identity, my true purpose. I'm afraid of coming forward and you seeing me this vulnerable. I don't feel good enough for you at this time because I struggle with so many things. I struggle opening up. I struggle loving myself. So I don't think it's fair on you if I was to come forward to you in this state of mind where I don't know how to love myself fully, let alone how to love and support you in the way that you deserve because you deserve the best. I self-sabotage a lot, but it's because I've always felt as though I've been alone in this world. I haven't felt like I had the support that I need. No one understands me. I'm an empath. I feel like Earth is not my true home. I feel as though you and I are from another dimension, another planet, another universe. And so I felt very isolated in my life and I got used to feeling alone, but that is why I love you so much. I feel 
that we know each other. You know me more than anyone and I understand you more than anyone understands you. I really want to be with you. I really want that union, that reconciliation, but it's out of my hands. We came here with soul contracts. We came here with things that we agreed to experience, illusions that we agreed would be crumbled, but until those illusions have fallen away, I'm not fully in my true vibration and therefore we cannot fully be together in the 3D. But I know we're always one. I know that we always will be one. My heart is so broken. I feel so much fear, so much sadness with what's going on in the world right now. I feel so much sadness that I can't just click my fingers and make us be together. I really wish it was that easy. I really wish that I could be by your side always. But I have so much hurt and pain within myself. I don't know how to process those emotions and so they've all got bottled up. I know that that is partly why I'm not ready for such profound love. It's almost as though I cannot handle such divine love because I'm out of alignment with it. I'm in I'm in alignment with a lot of pain, illusion. But my soul also recognizes that you're going through these struggles and you're going through this healing and awakening process as well. But I feel so much sadness um, when I think about how we're not together at this time. I'm really sorry if I hurt you. I've always wanted you to know that you're more than good enough and the reason why I haven't come forward isn't because I don't love you, it's because there's so much more stuff that needs healing before we can fully align, but I want the same things that you do. I want us to be together just as much as you want that. I want us to have a happy healthy relationship where we can look into each other's eyes every single day and just be our true vulnerable selves without any fear. This is my dream. This is my goal. This is what I know we already have in these other dimensions, but we are here on earth right now. And it's a dimension of duality, of seeming seemingly opposites um, and this duality it's hard to navigate it's hard to come back into a true oneness when there's the opposition of reality and illusion and it's very hard to overcome the mind the mind's conditioning on this earth plane the mind is what makes us forget our true selves and therefore forget our true worth. I struggle with self-worth. But know that I'm always by your side in truth. I'm always thinking about you. My love for you is stronger than ever. Please be patient with me. Please believe that my love is true. Please, I need you. I need your comfort. I need your support. But I need you to love yourself as well. I don't want you to get caught up on me and feel pain and rejection and sadness. Know that this lifetime is a drop in the ocean of our eternal existence. Your energy always comforts me. I'm sorry if I've made you feel left out in the cold. It's because deep down I've always felt like an outsider and therefore I struggle to allow myself to receive. I 
I want to reach out, I want to communicate to you, I want to express how I really feel, I want to give you an explanation, I want to be there for you on all levels, but there's still more karma to heal, there's still more illusions to see beyond, you will be hearing from me soon. I cannot stay away from you. I have to express my truth. My soul is pulling me towards you. The magnetic pull is extremely strong at this time. But right now I'm healing. I'm going through a lot of pain, a lot of difficulties. I feel a lot of depression. I'm very scared about the future, especially with what's going on in the world right now. I need this time alone right now to heal, to rejuvenate myself. This time alone is my time with spirit, with my higher self. This time of separation is bringing us closer to our soul family on the higher realms and helping us uncover more of our true identity our eternal selves. And then once we have re-established such a strong connection with our divinity and we've learnt so much and awakened so much from that, then we'll be able to be together. I wish you were here in my room. I wish you were here by my side as I go through these, this malady, through this healing, through this pain. You are my best friend and I wish that you could comfort me right now in my time of need. I know you would be here for me, you would comfort me if it was the right time for that but I need this time alone right now so that I don't become too dependent upon you. In the past, I was too dependent and I was looking outside of myself for that comfort, for that healing, for that love. But now is my time of going inwards. But I often think about having private time alone with you and us sharing our true feelings, our true thoughts and having long discussions into the early hours of the morning. But right now I feel stuck in a prison. It's a prison within my own mind. I'm very anxious. I feel so much sadness. Sometimes I even cry about what's happening. I feel all alone. I know that you've always been here for me. I know that you've always reached out. You've always tried to help me. You've always tried to be a good friend, a good listener. And I know I've pushed you away at times. But this, these problems I have to deal with myself is not fair on you if I allow you into my life when I have all of these issues going on that can potentially drag you down as well. I feel as though I didn't do the right things in the past. I feel as though I hurt you. So a part of me feels as though this is my punishment. But I know deep down that it's not a punishment. It's my self-punishment. It's my self-sabotage. It's my poor self-image, my low self-esteem. I don't know how to accept support from others. I don't know how to let other people help me. I grew up in a family where I felt as though they weren't truly there for me. They weren't truly supportive. And so I learned to be overly independent to the point of not knowing how to accept support from others. 
I love you so much. I'm so grateful to Spirit for bring us, bringing us together. I know our love is divine. I know we are true soulmates. I feel peace in my heart when I think of you. I know that everything will be all right. I know I have to endure this sadness, this karma at this time because my soul is strong. My soul agreed to go through this. Our love is true. Our love is pure. Our love is innocent and unconditional. I love you so much. I've been a fool. I feel like I'm stuck in this prison because I am a fool. I was so used to just being alone, being isolated, fearful of anyone seeing my true self and judging me, fear of that uncomfortable feeling when someone's too close to me. But I've been a fool because you were offering me your support, your love, and I didn't take it. And now I feel even more alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I was foolish, I'm sorry that I allowed my fears to get the better of me, but at the same time I feel as though this is the karma that we were supposed to go through. I'm not saying that as an, an excuse, but I feel as though these difficulties, this adversity is what's one of the greatest catalysts of our awakening, as well as the depth of our love. I'm sorry, I want to reach out and apologize to you. I know I left you with a lot of heartbreak. I know I left you feeling isolated and alone and imprisoned by this connection because it's an eternal bond. I'm sorry for that. My love for you has always been true. I always have loved you and I always will. I'm always thinking about you. At times it was maddening because my ego wanted to run away from the connection because I was afraid to look inwards and do the purging because it would make me have to face all of my heartbreak, all of my pain. It would make me face a lot of this ego illusions and have to release those, but I became comfortable in those illusions. It was my comfort zone. But I'm always thinking about you. I know I have to do the healing work. In the past, I felt like if I just buried my head in the sand, if I just put on this blindfold and avoided doing the healing work, I believed I could avoid the heartbreak. I could avoid having to look inwards and be totally honest with myself about all the experiences where I felt severely hurt in my life. I believed that I could just turn a blind eye and then somehow it would all just go away. I didn't want you to go away, but I wanted the pain. I wanted the difficulties of the healing work to go away. I wanted to run and hide, but I can't stop thinking about you. I don't want to stop thinking about you anymore. I know it's futile trying to resist this connection, but I am in a dark place right now. It's not fair on you if I was to bring you into this dark place as well. You need to heal on your own as well at this time. I'm going through the dark night of the soul. But this is true love. I love you so much. I realize now that love, true love, 
awakens us on such a deep level because we feel such joy, such endearment, but also it can bring us the, the biggest pain. But I know it's all love. I know it's all to bring us back to our true selves. I love you and I always will. I know that I'm always thinking about you. So I hope that this reading has been helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me to grow my channel. And please check out my meditation, which is called I Am Loved, I Receive Love. And that is such a powerful meditation where I really help you to overcome any heartbreak. I help you to overcome any pain to do with abandonment or rejection, whether from this connection or from your past. And I really help you to see yourself through the eyes of your soul family, where they know that you are always lovable and that you always will be. They only wish that you knew that about yourself as well. So this is a really powerful meditation that can clear out the blocks for you to be in a place of really profound inner peace and that can help you manifest this connection this union you know if this is part of your soul contract so that is called i am loved i receive love there's also reviews on my website on the page the link is below this video in the description box so please check that out and thank you so much